All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting a new mission. I'm going to grab the bricks because I'm right here, Javes. I don't know if you want to get the Mac okay. and get some more. I can get five if you can get you can get seven of oh, the eight. Wait, 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 wait. What is here? What? Hey, Javius, how many hours would you say each season takes? Oh, I have no idea. A lot, probably. Probably. It, 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 it depends on are you do you do every single mission and task, or do you just do the main ones? Do you play alone? Yeah, like if you're doing it by yourself. <laughs> And you do every single mission. Each each season could probably give you a good thirty to forty hours of content. Some of them take longer. Yukon took me almost six months to finish just that one, and it's only two maps, but it's a nightmare. Um, some of them are fun. Some of the Russian ones are not quite so much fun. <laughs> Bricks. Oh, we got concrete slabs here too. Oh, the Mac is gone. All right, I'm bringing five bricks over. We're going to. It's so White Valley is where we're taking these. You could almost yeah. say uh, two to three afternoons per map. So and then they come with like three, two, two to four maps. Yeah. That's if that's all you're gonna do is just mess around with this. So yeah, so it's like twenty to forty hours about per map. <laughs> Maybe like ten hours per map. Yeah, some of the maps are really long, like Amur, la, the COVID Lake one, um, just a nightmare. Yeah, and they're they're long, and Yukon, once again, a nightmare. Some of them are easier. They've got that Eurasian map, I forget what it's called, but you, it's got four maps, and you do farming. That one's way easier. But there's a lot to do on those maps, though. Yeah, you could run those forever, because they some of the missions are rep repeatable. Like, grow potatoes and deliver them. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool, though. Um, yeah, we are. Once I get to Kentucky, I will start. I'm probably going to... Since I won't have any work for photography down there, uh, I'm going to have to rebuild that business. I probably will hit YouTube pretty hard for the first summer and see how that goes. So, that will include... <laughs> A return to my summer car. Yeah. I love that game. Oh, my God. I miss my summer car so much. Dude, that's great, Patchwork. That's awesome. Yeah, I was like, I think I graduated with like a 2.8, 2.5, something like that. Uh, now, college, I graduated with a 3.8. But, yeah, we're going to definitely play Expeditions for sure. Expedition will probably be a little bit of a stripped down version of this game. It seems like they're kind of cutting back on a lot of stuff and making it much more scouting focused and less mission focused, which I'm okay with. There'll be other types of missions, so it looks good. But yeah, we have to search out your missions too. Yep. Yeah, my summer cars. <laughs> people, I, I wish there's a lot of people on my channel that won't watch it. But that's only... Be I, I really feel like it's because they haven't watched it. Because it's... Ri the things that happen are so funny and ridiculous and fun. Like, it just... It's a great game. It's so random. And it's got... I, I think if we do it, I might... Like, if Mike is up for it, we might try yes. to do it. Yes. 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 They have a multi they have a multiplayer mod now that works, I guess, pretty well. So we can multiplayer it. <laughs> I'm going to push you in the cistern. Let's watch you die again. <laughs> that would be great. Hey, man, as long as you take care of the homestead. Uh, or when you're up there with the bees, I'll start throwing stuff up there to get them going while you're up there. <laughs> great. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I died by falling in the septic tanks when I was servicing them. <laughs> oh, God. Insta-death. What a great game. Just I'm afraid to ask how a game called My Summer Car requires you to get in a septic tank. Well, you have to take jobs to support yourself. So right. you can, there's a, there's a couple farming jobs, but they don't last. Like once you're done, you're done. Um, hang on, where are we? <laughs> Wait, I went to, did I go to the wrong place? The fact that Javius has to ask yes. means he's oh. never watched any of the episodes. Right, oh. yeah, right. 
Um, basically, you have your guy has to eat. He has to sleep. He has to go pee. And um, and he gets like if you and he gets tired. Yeah. yeah, he gets stressed. So you have to relieve stress. So you have different ways of doing those. And just like real life, there's positives and negatives. So if you start smoking, it'll relieve your stress. But after you've smoked like 150 cigarettes, you have to smoke more to keep that stress level down. And eventually you just aren't able to even reduce stress. Um, so that's not a good idea to smoke the cigarettes. Instead, you can chop wood. And by chopping wood... You are um, reducing your stress and you're getting wood together for the different things in your house that use a wood burner because you heat your house with wood. So um, and you have like, well, it's uh, um, it's in Scandinavia. So you have a a sauna that you run and you also have a fireplace in the house. Um, And then you can also like uh, there's there's several things you can do to reduce stress, but um yeah, sauna. But then you also you have to get you have to get groceries and you have to like cook those groceries and or the food you, goes bad. Being, yeah, the food goes bad after time, so you have to watch and make sure you're not eating rotten food. And it's just it's it's very um, it's very well done. While rebuilding your car. Yep, and then and then so the other part of the story is that you have this old uh, Datsun Cherry, which is a Datsun 100A. I forget what they called them in America. But they call it a Satsuma in the game because it's there. It used to be in real life. I think it was yeah, Dotson Cherry. So they're just calling it Satsuma instead, which is an or- like a little orange. Um, and so you have to, but you have to make make money to get food. So you have to chop wood and sell it, and you can do the farming missions, or you can clean septic tanks. You have an uncle who has a. Uh, a company that does septa tanks but he's too much of a drunk and so he loses his license and so he gives you the business and allows you to, to run the septic t- tank cleaner <laughs> the only thing i can say javius is that it's the only game that i played where when i came back to it i felt like i was coming home i've i've it's very rare that you play games that actually make you feel like you're part of that environment the graphics are terrible they're like like, um, did you ever play Goldeneye? No. Uh, it's they're like at that level. Um, okay. I, I I I don't know. You, the graphics are terrible. You have to like relieve stress. Yep. Pee and poop and yep. eat and drink. And yep. Yeah. So it's it, a little a bit like real life. It's I very have that. It's very much like real life. Yes, and it can be stressful, and it definitely. Like, if you don't put the engine together right, sometimes, or sometimes just parts are bad. So, like, one time I was driving along, and, and I didn't realize that my radiator had emptied out. Um, and all of a sudden, blue smoke starts coming out the back of the car, and I'm like, what is going on? Or the and, hooligans chase you in the <laughs> town. Yep. And then all of a sudden, my piston went flying through the, the, the hood of my car and left a hole in the hood, and the piston was halfway down the road. So... Yeah, it's and then so then you have to buy a new piston. You got to get a new engine block. You got to like rebuild the whole engine. So, <laughs> lots of things can go wrong. It's yeah. completely random, like how things happen in that game. Yeah, I suggest you watch like season three or four that I have up on my YouTube channel because that's getting more advanced. Five I never finished, but I don't know. I think I'll I, stick to watching that <laughs> English girl jump rope on YouTube. Uh, I just, I'm telling you, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, the stress bar, you definitely have to... Yeah, coffee reduces stress, too, a little bit. And keeps your energy level up, but you get addicted no, to coffee, too. Permadeath as well. You can do that. I usually turn permadeath off because it's a night. That's a nightmare. So yeah. And you burnt down your house, remember? One time I left the sauna on, and uh, forgot about it. Yeah, and came back to a smoking ruin. I think I was coming back from the island. I had like fish and a, and, a, and a bunch of stuff in a bucket, and I was like, "Oh, I got my bucket of stuff," and I'm just coming back, and I saw something. I'm like. What is that? Like, there's smoke, like, coming up from where my house is off in the woods. I'm like, no, 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 no. (laughs) 
Oh yeah, you get to talk to Grandma. That's right. Oh yeah, you can. That's right. You can cuss to reduce stress. That's right. Okay, now you're starting to get my. <laughs> it's all in Swedish, or I guess it would be Scandinavian, Swedish. Yeah, and they all talk really funny too. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, they're really weird. Like the uncle, he's like. <laughs> Sometimes you have accidents and you run people over <laughs> and then you go to jail like the cops show up and you end up going to jail for a while. <laughs> Get tickets. I had that one time. I didn't think anybody saw it, but <laughs> I might have ran somebody. There was a guy crossing the road and I kind of swerved. Nobody was around, but somehow I still ended up going to jail. Yeah, the shopkeeper is great. Yeah, TMO. The bus driver. It is a very difficult and mind... It's mind-numbingly difficult sometimes, though. It definitely is a tough game. And, you, you, like, you have to get better tires in order to do that. You have to find the wheels, which means you have to go into this abandoned house, and there's a, a, a bunch of um, bees up there, so you have to go in at night. And so it's super spooky. $18,000 job. That was huge. Good job, Micah. Oh my god, look at this road. Oh. Keep it low. That's right, you got to come back with the tractor and rescue it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right, wasps. Yeah. Not hornets, wasps. The bee oh, ex beekeeper. There you go. So if you ever get in a situation like this where you're going down a steep hill, you can gear down to keep the truck from rolling out of control. Those of you that did not know that, I am in low gear. And you can see here, I'm not using any brake. But the low, low gear keeps the truck from speeding up. I don't think in real life this would it would work a little bit, but not quite as well as it's working here. It's like a drag brake on an RC truck. <laughs> Close your eyes. Wish that you weren't here and dying. Rolling down the hill. Gravity stops for no one. But everybody stops for gravity. <laughs> right. Right, exactly. It reminds you of being a teenager in the 90s with an unreliable car. And that's what it is. I like it when you get into fist fights. Oh. Didn't you drown in the lake because you fell out of the boat? Um, yeah, that's happened. <laughs> I ran. I fell out of the boat in the middle of the lake. Yeah. And it kept going. And then I was stuck. And I... It, basically, I fatigued to death. I didn't necessarily drown, but I, my guy got fatigued and he... Then he drowned because he was fatigued. Right, and then whenever you die, it's always in the local newspaper. Right, it shows a newspaper article. Local teenager dies in, in drowning, in car accident, in drunk driving accident. Let's not talk mm -hmm. about that. And there's one corner on the road that always gets you. Why is there just a random block of... Oh, well, it's easy mode. I'm not going to complain. Probably somebody... Like me, probably hit the wrong button in it. Those aren't slabs, are they? No, slabs are the doubles. Okay, they're twice as long. Okay. <laughs> Those are concrete blocks. Yes. Uh, it's called My Summer Car, Dutter Specter. Look it up on my YouTube channel. Look up Arthur Chapman, My Summer Car, and watch. Probably the third season is really where it gets. I mean, they're all funny. First season's kind of funny, but I, I, by the third season, I kind of knew what I was doing, so it gets really? real funny by then. Because then, really, what would you say? 
<laughs> really? really? Well, I mean, as, as much as you can know on that game, you know. Okay, so we have to go back to... What was it? Which one's the best one? Mountain River, huh? Javes? Is that the um, is that the best one to go to? You think? Probably. I'm trying to get three of the four concrete slabs right now. How's my gas? I'm doing all right. Well, I got five of the bricks, so we need six, seven, and eight, and then I could probably fit another concrete slab so I can get the last of them. Sweet. See, the road is hairy. That's funny. <laughs> I think I have driven the million dollar high. In fact, yes, I have, Kentucky. Yeah, because I, we took the train from Durango to Silverton and then came back down and then drove up to Silverton. And I remember seeing signs about the... Whoops, I went the wrong way. Crap. I remember seeing signs about the million dollar highway. I needed to turn there on this road. And uh, beautiful area. Years ago. We're talking I was probably 17 years old when I did that. So. Love to do it again. I'm trying to make that happen this year. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I can bet. It's a very... I remember it like it being a mountain pass type road and there being railroads running along it, obviously. Come west. <laughs> Go west, young man. Speaking of Michael W. Smith, he's coming in concert uh, to Akron next month in March. I want. I kind of want to go. The last time I saw him, I was, once again, a teenager, like 18 years old. I can't believe he's still doing music. <laughs> so cheesy. And he's still making hits. That's the crazy part. He's still got songs that they're like doing the worship, like the worship music, and it's still people are doing his songs. Sir, when you get a chance, could you help me with a um, getting the task going? Yeah, uh, let's do it. Shrimp boat, hello. Welcome to the channel. It's a long way to top to the top. It's a long way to Tipperary. What's it under? Um, there we First go. One. I got it. I got it. Uh oh, baby crying. And we were. What was the one we were following, Javes? Cargo wow. apocalypse two. Dude, these are. We're gonna be next time we play. We're gonna be done. <laughs> Yes, and then we can move on to the next one. Mike W. Smith with a mullet. <laughs> yeah, it was a couple of decades for me, too. Back when he was doing friends of friends forever. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember the... T I think it was the Change Your World tour was the last time I saw him in concert. I saw him a bunch as a, as a teenager. Eye to Eye was my favorite album from him. And that was the best tour, too. But. Uh oh. He dig definitely. Deep, Earl, dig deep. Dig deep. He had the. Oh, be he had... got... oh, go ahead. I've got the dairy special with uh, cargo, with the slabs on the flatbed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pulling. The ramped flatbed trailer with two more concrete <laughs> slabs. Like with a... Oh, wait, so do you need me to get any concrete or no? Yes. We need four for this mission, and I okay. have three of them. So I came in here, so we're going to go get gas. We're going to pick up the bricks, then we're going to swing over and get the last thingy. I know there's we're on season twelve now, farming scanny eyes. So yeah, and they're twelve is part is twelve part of year four. 
or twelve the end of year three. The one the one we just what scouted and got the vehicles, that was the last of year three. Okay, so year and then you also have year four, which is gonna be thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. <laughs> so if you want to get year four, then yeah, so you need even more, right? I know it's we had to go back and do it, Shrimp Boat, because we've done like a bunch of the newer maps and I never finished this one. So I'm like, well, I feel like we really need to finish this before we move any further. Um, that and there was a lot of people in the chat commenting on SnowRunner without any snow. That true. That's true. We always hear like, hey, there's not people. Not Where's the snow? <laughs> it's here. <laughs> I know there's some good stuff out there, Patrick. Petra's coming to Cleveland too, but I, it's not the the lineup that I like. I like their older lineup, and their, it's the newer lineup. I know. Yeah, everyone's like, how come they call this snow run? There's no snow. I'm not sure where we're gonna go next. I maybe Maine. I've always wanted to do that one because it looks really pretty. Um, so we might do Maine next. I'm, I'd like to. What I'm trying to do is I want to get all of the USA done. And then we're going to move over to Russia and get all of Russia done. You're at season six. Okay, so yeah, you'll need seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's what, and then you're going to need 13, 14, 15, and 16, which will be year four. So however that works out for you, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, well, what's nice is because the Javius and Mike are helping, we've actually, I think we've only been on this map for three weeks, right, guys? And we do we do one session a week. So I feel like we're really kind of pounding. The fact that we're almost done, well, one, it means that this is a lot easier than the newer maps. But two, we're wow. getting, we're, we're now that we're skipping, like, the little side missions, though we got a lot of those done, too. For the most part, we're getting stuff done really fast. I've, I've been doing the side missions. Mike has been doing the side and missions. We have much more capable trucks than what you would have had if you came here right after. Me. Yeah, true that, true. And then also, I think, too, we stopped trying to do, this is going to sound horrible, but we stopped trying to do missions together. Though Javis and I are doing it tonight. We just started just grabbing missions and doing them. And that's helped speed things up, too. But uh, we, we are trying to get done because, I mean, obviously with expeditions coming out like now i got another game i got to cover so and that's probably going to be another in-depth game because these games do really well on the channel so oh my gosh that's hilarious well just take the low take the lower take lower tier contracts so it's not quite so stressful that's one thing you can do yeah, Shrimp Boat, if you can find a couple... Uh, hey, there was a new guy on here tonight. I don't know if he's on or not still. Uh, what was his name? Oats? Something. Hang on, let me look, I'll look it up. Hang on. Hook up with him because he's thinking about getting the game. Uh, Oreo. Oreo Noodle. That's his name. Um, Oreo Noodle was talking about getting into the game. I bet you, you, could, you guys could hook up and do multiplayer together. It makes a big difference having a friend play with you. Let's see. We need to go over to there so keep going straight wait to the right to the left to the l wait a minute i'm so confused Is that right a song? Now. what <laughs> to the left to the left something yeah there's a well there's the military march no that was not what i was thinking but yeah. are you thinking of the uh 30 seconds to mars or whatever yeah. that's to the left to the right no idea. <laughs> Modern music. No. It's called. I think the name of the song is "This Is War." I think that's I a great song, right. actually. I really like that song. The guy sounds like he swallowed razor blades. I wish I had a voice like that. Her <sighs> <Start> smoking. <laughs> I mean, that probably is part of it, right? Yeah, Expedition does not have multiplayer yet, so it's going to be a slow boat. Okay, so we're at the main road. Now I need to go, oh, left, and then right, and then left. Is this factory? No, the factory does not have a back exit. And we could cut across maybe there. Yeah, let's go to the right. I mean to the left. And it's night 
Fast forward to the morning. Oh, All right. Yeah. Move. I think they used this track for the Olympic downhill ski event. <laughs> That's the one I was talking about. Yeah, you're going down that hill now? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Keep it in low. Different spot, but... <laughs> moo, moo. Same valley. Oh, mud. Oof. Yeah, I don't like that shortcut. <laughs> Play. I know what you're saying, K Kentucky, or KT KTY, deck. I know what you're saying. Um, it, it's, it is definitely you got to stay on your toes. That first day at the tier five, at the sawmill through my whole I had to completely change my operations in order to handle that it wasn't so bad at the coal mill or the coal mine because the coal mine can't deliver that fast but hello Endrit everything and so I just need one slabs right correct one plural slab oh come on concrete slab moo Welcome, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm going to regret. We're, we're gonna fuel. Hello. My choice. What? What choices are you regretting? Uh, I hate this ramp flatbed trailer. To get with. Oh right. But that's the thought of back and forth for four sets of concrete slabs with a single truck. <laughs> also. I makes you like. hate yes and the truck trains i tried earlier were just not getting the job done they were frustrating so uh oh come on baby pull come on come on baby pull come on pull come on just hoping this oh. dairy special's got the guts to drag this come thing on. up the hill oh it's gutless unless it's the old one Oh, that'd be cool if you got paid. Yep. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm getting older. With Simone trying to get the horse business going, if we can make money out of that, I might just help her with that and use the photography to kind of get the business, like, popularized, you know, do video and stuff like that, and then just work on YouTube. We'll see. It, was, it took me, you know, forever to build the business. And honestly... I really enjoy doing the homes and stuff like that, but the the market right now for what I'm doing is so dead. It's just like uh, nobody's you can't even get houses right now. So nobody's using us and it it just it's killed my business. So I'm not even worried about selling the pictures. I just mean to sell the business so my wife can can get people in. You know, or supporting whatever she's doing because she wants to do horse breeding and stuff like that. And so it's, it's, uh, and yes, that's correct. We're doing PC. Um, yeah, you, said you don't make money unless you do workshops. Uh, no, and it just, it was, we were doing so well, you know, for a couple of years, we, everything was going really great. And then, you know, things started to fall apart. Uh, maybe t a year before COVID because only horses <laughs> because the um, you know the real estate market started getting crazy and, and people didn't need us anymore and then it's just gone downhill from there so we have commercial shoots still which make you know 20 or 30 thousand bucks a year but I need more than that and, uh. and it's it's what happened what'd you do I hear um. frustration sounds well, I popped a tire. Oh. oh, God. And various other damage, but my load is also on the ground. Shiitake mushrooms. Okay, Do you so have a crane on you, Davis? 
on me no oh well I'm gonna go get a truck but I'm also blocking the road Arthur okay <laughs> only horses anyway uh, so you know now we're in a position the, the market started slowing down which I wanted it to do because I I wanted people to have to use our services to sell homes but what happened instead the market slowed down and then stopped so people are afraid to sell their houses because they're afraid they're not going to be able to afford something else. And that is a viable fear because the interest rates are so high right now that you may not be able to afford another house. And so no one's selling their houses. And so we went from a market that was like everything was going like hotcakes to a market where nothing is moving. And it's just killed us. So I don't at this point, I'm going to have to start from scratch and I'm going to have to wait until the market gets better. I don't really want to do like weddings and, you know, I mean, how skeevy is it for a, a 55 year old man or 50 year old man to be taking photos of teenage girls for, you know, their uh, what do you call it? Like senior portraits and stuff. Most girls feel a lot more comfortable with a woman. So I don't I, it's just to me, that's weird. And I don't I don't really want to do it. And so it's like those kind of. <laughs> I, just, I think it's probably just more realistic to realize that 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 part of my career is probably over. I'll continue doing weddings with Chris. Even if I have to drive up to Cleveland, I'll, I'll use it as an excuse to visit my kids over the weekend and, you know, come up, stay with the kids, do a wedding, spend another night with them and then head back home and and then work on the YouTube channel. And my wife can bring other income in with the horses and we'll just go from there. But we'll see. Right, let's see. Is there, which way is the best way to go? I can go back down. We, the way that I went worked. It was a little scary, but it did work. So I unblocked the road. Okay. To get put a crane on this thing. How did I get down there the first time? I feel like I went a different way. I think. You I, turn right. You come out of that gate. You turn right. Yeah. Should I try oh, a different route? Cross the you, river. Yeah. You cross the river and you stay on that road and you come to where I'm at and then you take a right and you go along the shore. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that this road. time. The way that I came out, I think, was the best way to get in there. Yeah, and that's the. Oh, yeah, there you go, Yorgo. That's where. That's how you do it. Right, right. <laughs> right. And do it as a hobby. I don't know. I like this hobby better. <laughs> Plus, we do I make can. some money doing this. So, uh, but yeah, I, no, I haven't really thought about doing nature photography because everybody does nature photography, and so it's not it's for fun, yes, but for making money, probably not. You know, I, that's more artsy fartsy, and I'm not really that I'm not really that artsy fartsy, I guess. With my photography work, with guitar and stuff, yeah, but I don't know, I don't know, it's all. It's all subjective right now. I got to figure that out. But maybe that is how we'll go. I don't know. Yeah, I know. And that's and, but it's good for us right now because at least for selling my house, we're going to be one of like four houses on the market. So, it does help my house hopefully <laughs> sell faster and for more money. Oh, crap. Oh, I see what you're saying, KT, like like hold workshops, teach people how to do it. Is that what you're saying? Like I would run a workshop. Hoff Bergman. I have not played the new one. Ah, I see. Well, that might work, actually. I like teaching people stuff, so, I mean, that could work. Ooh, crime scene photographer. Ugh! <laughs> no. That sounds horrid. No, thank you. Uh, but yeah, that would actually work. I could, I could do workshops. How to do real estate photography. Hello, Micah. Sorry. Hello. Oh, wow. You got quite the uh, Russian. Uh, look at that. Look at Micah. What a, and that's great with fuel and everything. He's all decked out. That's a great idea. Do you need fuel? Um, no, I should be okay. Okay. I got gas like just when I got on the map, so. Yeah, I couldn't do I couldn't do that. Oh crap! I didn't realize I was running over the fence. You want to go down farther? Well, no, this way is not too bad. I went over here before. It's not it's not bad. Okay. 
I know what you're saying though. Like the the, I, the road is better down there, but. Uh, 16, uh, 16 to 35, um, on my, uh, no, 14 would be a little bit, uh, hair too wide. Um, and I'm using it on a Canon 5D Mark III full frame. So 16 to 35 is nice. It doesn't, it doesn't distort too much when you're at the 16, uh, and you can zoom in a little bit to get a little bit more of a flatter image at up to 35. So I, I, that's my go-to lens. It's sitting right here on my camera. I just leave it on. <laughs> And then I have I have some video lenses that I have a, the twenty four seventy Mark II is my is my go to vid video lens because it's you know pretty flexible on the different like you can zoom in and out with it. So ah oh, well, thank you, Endrit. It's nice to have you back, and thank you for the raid. And I appreciate it, Mister Micah. Okay, Micah might have been right. <laughs> and, um, Dismount. Is it possible to put three concrete slabs on a flatbed with a crane and pinch them all down and take it that way? Yeah. Good U.S. maps. Oh, man. I really... You have to be really careful of your tipping. It's on the route I have to get them. Carry them on is mm -hmm. not great. Yeah, but mine's the two, the version two two point eight. So it's the L series. The twenty four seventy that's four uh, f four is not as nearly as fast. Yeah, I was gonna say Stone Valley is really good. I like Spruce Mountain. That's the that's probably my favorite farm that I've ever been on is the Spruce Mountain one. I had to make a couple changes to it to make it the way that I like it, but I love it. Um, Sigma makes really good lenses for video. They're good quality lenses too. They take good photos. And they're uh, you know decently uh, decently more affordable. Here we go, Javius. Here we go, Javius. Here we go. There's a rescue mission going on. Okay. As long as nobody has to rescue the rescuer, I'll be good. Oh, what the frick? <laughs> uh, does this truck have repair points naturally? No, it doesn't. You'd think with all those boxes on the back, they would have given it a couple repair points. Oh, yeah, let, that'd be cool to, when you come back on. Let us know how it goes, KT. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was a little nervous. I did my first project for that ADTV this month, and um, they were uh, they. I'm getting paid, so that means they used the footage. So that's good. We did the the science museum downtown Cleveland. Oh, they did pay you. Good, good, good. Yeah, usually I get paid for my work, but that's when I'm doing the real estate stuff. I don't do it for free. They would not get photos unless I got paid. <laughs> Is that wrong of me? Because I won't take it. I won't do it. All right. So I'm going to head back, Javius, because that's it, right? After That's it until I can get these things picked up. 
You're supposed to keep, when you get paid, you're supposed to keep, um, what is it, uh, it's a third back for taxes, just in case. I never do. I just find out at the end of the year what I owe. It's usually not too much because I got kids and stuff, but this year they're going to owe me money, so that'll be good. Not the way they're spending it. <laughs> yeah, true. You know, it's a... Uh, Speaking of spending, and it's none of my business, but my ex got like $10,000 back this year. I'm like, what? That must have been nice. Mm. I get frustrated because I'm like, you know, it's it's just constantly always like, hey, you got money for this? You got money? It's just like, oh. And then it's like, wait a minute. And then she's going she's gonna to spend it on a vacation. And I'm just like, I just... Save your money. Or, you know, buy it. She's complaining because her car is all worn out and she's going to go on vacation. I'm like, buy a new car. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Or at least a new car to her. Yeah, right. Like something newer. You can get something really nice for 10000 bucks. Well, it was uh, it was a. Uh, she's got the. She writes the kids off, so she gets that too. I think there's like a two thousand dollar credit for each kid, so she's got three of them. So that's six thousand bucks right there. But she got a bonus last year, and they tax you when you get bonuses. They tax it up front, so you have to pay it, and then they they adjust it according to your income, and then you get it back. So it wasn't. She didn't overpay, but it just. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, no I haven't even filed. I gotta file. I do need to file. I'm gonna try to file before I leave, and that would just be done with it. What's the matter, Mike? Oh, uh, just looking at where I gotta go to get more long logs. I was hoping right. there would be a place here. Hey, Luca. Luca. All right, so we're taking it back. Doing good, my friend. Having fun. We got some big missions done today. I think we've only got two or three mission, big missions left on this map series, and we're ready to move on to... We're going to go to Maine next and get that done. Hello, Albert. Welcome. First time. We got a lot of first-time chatters today. This is prime time, isn't it? That's why we're not streaming late at night. What would you say, my God? I go, it's nice. I know. It's just a sign that I need to stream earlier in the day. That's part of the problem lately is we've been streaming so late at night. I've been busy. Ugh. Like, get ready to move. All right, so. Okay, so. White River Valley. Do I go back to White Valley or? Where's the main garage? The main garage is on North Point, right? I'm trying to head back there. Northport, yeah. Northport. North Port, I mean. North Court. Yeah, I'm heading there. I'm not losing. He's a late when you want. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to... We'll try to do this more often. I just it's It all depends on what's going on. The next couple days are going to be nuts. i got band practice tomorrow. I've got... Uh, we got the realtor coming on Friday. Which I got to get the house a little bit more ready than it is. Oh, the help has been huge. These guys have pounded this map out with me and got a lot done. This truck is beat to heck, dude. Stop and get some gas, but we're on our way home. My loss of sleep is your game. Well, it hasn't been that late. Usually we're done by midnight. Or 11, because Micah has to go to bed, and I have to go to bed, and Javius never sleeps. I sleep at work. <laughs> Do you really fall asleep at work? No. Not okay. Usually. I was going to say. You I mean, some, to watch. Some, people, some people have that job going on.
Your bedtime is 8. That's so funny. Patrick is the typical morning per. Well, you have to be with your job. Um, all right, so then we're going to back to the garage. Okay, so left. That was pretty quick, actually. That's so funny. Hey, wake up. Would you leave White Valley if you'd have taken the other tunnel? You would have went right to Northport. Great. I know. I thought I was supposed to go to the other map, and I, I got the names mixed up, so I figured that out now. I'm like, oh, wait, I could have just gone right there. But I didn't. That's all right. It was only, it's a short jaunt through that map because you just go along the top there. Um, and so it's not too bad, but it's all right. Yeah, wait for you, Scania, yeah, that's for sure. You said I'm retired. I sleep when I'm ready, when I get ready. <laughs> Let's see, what time is it? Nap time. What time is it? Time for a nap. This truck, I'm always filling up just because it always runs out. We are having fun. Is that what you call this? Uh, no, we d we ditched it, Zwajo. When they kept coming out with more and more seasons and we got further and further behind, I figured we just need to focus on this. I try not to duplicate my efforts. <laughs> now, I still am playing hardcore by myself on a different playthrough on my laptop, but that's it. It's zero, zero. Over, it's, it's basically midnight, right? Yeah. 10 after midnight. Oh, yeah, because you guys are six hours ahead. Yeah. It's 10 minutes after midnight. Look at the bounciness. Bouncy house. There are no Scanias in this game, just so you know, Scania. Oh, I mean, Luca. <laughs> Some reason my brain connected Scania to that comment, but it was not. The we got is a Ford. <laughs> right. Yeah, Jay was on the other side for 4M. It's pretty hard to get through it by yourself, yeah. Especially when you fall over. If you tip a big truck, it's quite a chore to get it turned back over if you only have the little scouts. And the other trucks aren't capable of getting to them because they get stuck out in the middle of nowhere and there's no tires and everything sucks. Mid Europe. Nove. That's true. The Tatra does look like a daft truck, and it probably might be related. It's turning left here. Okay. And so we make it back home. I'm going to sell the trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, for you on YouTube. And on Twitch. I hope you guys had fun tonight. We definitely had fun running these missions. We got just a couple more to do. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. And a relaxing evening going into night. And then I am going to uh, try to be on again tomorrow night. It'll be late though. We have band practice tomorrow. So depending on how long it goes, it might be... I might stream. I might not. It all just depends on what time I get home. But for those of you that are on YouTube... Have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always helps. And leaving comments, I will definitely try to, to comment back. I usually once a week go through all my comments and say hi. So we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody on YouTube. I'll say good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, guys.